Hi everybody, it's Danielle with Inspire Me to DIY, and guess what tomorrow is? Yay, it's the 4th of July. Finally, my favorite holiday, second favorite holiday next to Christmas. I absolutely love the 4th of July because to me that just means summer. Summer fun, fireworks, good food, all the above. And today, we actually are going to a party and it might be a little interesting because it's been raining since last night. So hopefully the skies clear up and everything is good. So we'll see. Today I want to show you a um, crossbody pouch that I bought at Hobby Lobby. You will not believe the price. And we're going to decorate it today. So here's my crossbody bag. It comes with a nice strap. It even comes with a zipper. $1.69. Really, I'm serious, $1.69. We are gonna make the cutest crossbody pouch to take to all the art festivals and the summer festivals and the theme parks and anything else you can think of. It'll, it's plenty big to carry my cell phone, any credit cards I have, anything I wanna put in there. So to, I'm gonna start off, we're gonna cut this tag off. Uh, there we go. Hardest part of the whole job, right there. <laughs> okay, what I did is um, I glued this little ribbon on there first because I wanted to test out the glue I was going to be using to make sure that it works well. And it actually is holding pretty good, but it's taking quite a while to dry. And what I used was Aline's Fabric Fusion. I got this thing at the Dollar Tree, but I know they sell it in bigger quantities at the other stores. And um, this is what I use to glue my pillows onto my, or birds onto my pillows when I did my pillow. Hi, Carl. When I did my, my pillow DIY. So um, let's get started. What you're gonna need for this is I cut a piece of cardboard into a circle. This is kind of gonna be my template. And I'm gonna cut fabric into these circles and I'm gonna show you some of the fabric I got. I went to um, Goodwill and I found these linen napkins. This is kind of like a, a brownish natural linen. I also found these off-white, let me see if I can make this even harder than it is, an off-white napkin. And I bought this cute little Little girl's dress in a synthetic, synthetic, synthetic lace. And synthetic lace is great for this project because when you cut it up, it won't unravel like a lot of crocheted laces and stuff will do. I also got a white eyelet dress. This is all from Goodwill. If you can see the little pattern on there. And this also is good to use because it won't unravel. And then last but not least, I got this shirt that I almost kept to wear, but it is almost like a Swiss dot, I think they call it. It's just white on white, little puffy polka dots. So I'm gonna cut these up, and I spent, because everything was even on sale at, at Goodwill, I think I spent under $10 for all of this, and I can have many, many, many projects out of these. So very cost effective. So let's get started. What we're gonna do is we're gonna cut circles out of those and make these cute little flowers. If you can see, they're, they're all different layers of circles, different size circles, and even a little circle in the middle. And they're sewed together with a button. Now we're gonna try gluing these today. Um, the ones that I do have are sewed and I have a needle and thread ready just in case our glue isn't working. I have all of my little flowers made except for one and we'll we'll do that one. But look look at this one y'all. Look at that. My friend Helen made that. Isn't that beautiful? I love that. All right. So the the type of buttons that I used for the most part, I don't even know what these are called, but the kind of the holes in them, you don't want the shank buttons like these with the the thing in the See if you can see that the thing in the back because those will not glue. Now, if you're going to sew this, perfect, use the shank buttons, but we're hopefully not going to 
to be sewing a whole lot. So use the buttons with the holes. And I have a bazillion kinds of buttons. Let, let's talk about my buttons. My mom had a button box. I'm not kidding. I mean, there are so many buttons. And I guess back in the day, before there were so many Goodwills and stuff, when your clothing wore out, it was reused, recycled, whatever, um, a lot. They cut it apart to make patches. They made little doll clothes out of them. And they cut the buttons off in case you lost a button off a shirt or something. They always had extra buttons. Well, Mom and I used to... Um, play poker, but we'd play poker for buttons instead of money. So it was whoever won the most buttons. Street cred was about all you got. But uh, this is my mom's button box, and I had have added quite a bit of buttons myself to it. I like to go to estate sales and garage sales, and at one time I found a whole pint um, mason jar full to the top of buttons, and it was so cute, I used it as a display for a while, but then I eventually poured it all into my button box. There's different types of, um, what do you call this, trims that you can use on the, on your bag. I mean, this would be really, really cute. Maybe you can put it at the bottom. Or um, pretty laces. And I actually cut a few of these circles out to put on my flowers. And, oh, this is the crochet lace that I used around the top, and this I got at the Dollar Tree. Now, um, we're also going to put a bow on this, and this is um, an example that my friend Helen made. It's all different laces and tulle and whatever else, and tied together in the middle. I love that. Well, the one we're going to use today is... Um, I've already sewed a button on the middle. And I sewed it because it was the shank button, if you can see that. So that's gonna that's gonna go on our bag also. The other glue I'm using for our buttons is my EE6000. So hopefully, excuse me, hopefully um, that will stick our plastic to plastic. I um, tested it out by gluing, there's a button on top of a button that I glued together and then glued it to the bag and it seems to be holding pretty good. So with our, our little flowers, I plan on, let's see if, let me, I plan on putting them on like, like that, and then maybe putting some colorful buttons around the, the outsides of all that. Make sure when you glue or sew your bag that you, you have something in the middle to keep it from sewing together or gluing together because it's going to be worthless if you can't open the bag, right? Okay, and what I'm going to use today is a piece of this paper. Sail flyer. So we'll just tear that off and put it in the middle. There we go. I'm going to tuck that in there. All right, get in there. Okay, so that's in the middle so we don't glue anything together. Okay, I'm gonna start by cutting out my fabric. I've already done the um, off-white linen. I was so happy to get these um, napkins. I thought they were gonna, they're so pretty and they have a texture to them so it's gonna add to these flowers. Color is one thing to make sure that, you know, things go together right. But textures are also, that's a whole different ball game. I know in my home decor, I, I make sure that texture is a big part of every room. I think it gives your eyes something to play off of. Your eyes will naturally go around a room and it will either like things that it sees or it will not like things that it sees almost instantly. It's funny how our eyes work. But texture makes your eyes kind of stop for a minute and, oh, I like that. Oh, let's look at this one over here. And it gives it some interest. So I like to use texture also in my um, 
crafts and this this white eyelet it's kind of nubby and that will that will give texture also so there'll be all different kinds of textures and um, shades of white and off-white all right I'm gonna just draw around this you kind of want to cut on the inside of your your ink drawing so you won't have ink on your flower and I try to keep things as close as I can so I save the fabric as much as possible because I've got a lot of projects in mind for this this little dress here so whoever owned it to begin with has no idea how much joy donating it to Goodwill is going to give me. Okay. I had fun picking out all the buttons for this. And oh, you wouldn't believe how many times I'm like, no, let's, no, let's do, no, how about second guess myself. So then I'm like, forget this. I'm just going to do it. And those usually turn out the best rather than trying to second guess myself all the time. All right. So it's July and that means Christmas in July and I have been seeing so much Christmas stuff um, on social media already and I am beyond excited about getting ready for Christmas. It is like a Christmas explosion in here by the time I get done and I keep I take pictures of how I did it and I, I always say oh I'm gonna do it the same way next year but I don't because I like to change things up so much the only thing that's constant in my life is change <laughs> I love to change all the time I I, I just I don't want to get bored I don't want to get bored with stuff same way with um, doing these flowers. Now the flowers are all off-white and beigey and bougie and whatever else cute, but there's no color and I love color and that's the reason I'm putting all these great buttons on here. Look at, look at this pink one. I love that. Yay! All right. I am going to layer my um, linens in between my um, nubby fabrics. And I'm e even gonna cut out some of that lace, I think. Okay, where did I cut? Here we go. Okay. Draw around the edge. Uh, last year I had one, two, three Christmas trees. But I'm thinking, you know, I, I kind of might need another one. Oh, no, I had four. I had one in the guest room. A, a little one. But, you know, I'm thinking, maybe I need a bigger one in there. Who knows? All right. And Christmas trees have come down so much in price. I remember when they used to be hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And they, the really good ones still are. But you decorate them up enough. And you can take a Charlie Brown tree and make it fabulous, just like they did on the show. <laughs> I love it when they all back away and boom, the Christmas tree is gorgeous. Well, that's a wonky circle, but you know, look at that flower in there. I might just, no, I'll leave it the way it is. Nope, I'm going to cut around the edges. Um, I take, um, what do they call them, picks? the little things of greenery and stuff that just come on a stem. I buy a bunch of those and you can usually get them around a dollar a piece. And I stick them in all of the open areas that are in my Christmas tree. So I don't have to um, worry about the fact that it's not as full as a, a more expensive tree. So when you do that, your tree actually instantly looks way more expensive than the couple of bucks you spent for it. Okay, I'm gonna cut out one of these little circles. I don't even remember why I bought this lace. It was for something, but I'm so glad I did. Okay. And we'll cut around. Hi everybody, how's it going? 
you got rain in your area, we have a big old hurricane coming. So everybody's all about that. But to me, a hurricane just means party, right? Everybody get together and have a good time and not worry about it. You can't change it. I mean, if you could change it, if worry could change anything, I'd worry all the time, but it doesn't change anything. It might burn calories, and maybe I need to do that a little bit more, but it doesn't change anything, so why bother? I mean, why waste your energy on something you have zero control over? I have found just that, and it seems like, a lot but when you think of it as just one little tidbit don't worry about it I know hard hard but once you get the concept it's so cool mmm alrighty guys this looks like it's pretty much dry I have my paper in between and oh, I'm stuck I'm gonna do my first flower here's oh you know what that that's an awful short piece maybe maybe I'll just put the two linens together I don't normally do that but I think with the sizes you shake them out I would not recommend what um, I would not recommend washing these because um, they will unravel on you so, um, it looks like I, I lost internet connection for a little bit. Can you guys all see me? Storming, I tell you, it's storming. We'll see how, how far I can get with this. Um, I have, uh, I, well, as I was saying, do not wash these because they will unravel and it won't be pretty. So, if you plan on washing this bag, I wouldn't uh, permanently attach these. I would like, pin them on. So, let's do our first glue flower. We'll see how good this works on this. And I'm only going to put glue in the center. Come on. Hopefully I uh, get to stay on live with you. We'll see. You know what? You fly by the seat of your pants. My grandpa used to say that all the time. Fly by the seat of your pants. Actually, he used to say if you follow him You'll wear silk underwear and slide through trouble like it's nothing. My grandpa was a card. I miss him. Okay. I don't know if you got to see um, my Facebook post. I think it was this morning, but I got to go to a party yesterday for a 98-year-old. How cool is that? She is as sharp as a tack, too. I mean, she does not behave like an older person at all. She's amazing. I have known her for six years, and she, she never ceases to amaze me. Sweet, sweet lady. All right. I am hoping, I don't even know if I can show this. I have got the cutest little button. I don't know if you can see, it's like a little flower. I want to try to put that in the center. I'm going to use my E6000 for that. Whoa. And it's a little gloppy because I don't have the, the nozzle for it. I don't know what I did with that. But okay, let's try to. I'm going to use my pen. Don't want to get that. <gasps> I love it. Look. Aww. That's a cute little flower. Okay, let's get to decorating. What do you think? I am going to put, I, in fact, I have enough flowers here to do the front and the back. So I think it's gonna turn out so cool. I'm going to arrange, since this one's the one with all the bling on it, I kind of want it in the front, like front and center. So I think what I'll do is three on the front, three on the back. I like it. All right. And it might take quite a while to dry because this one is so heavy. But I'm going to put a big old glob on there. If a little works, use a lot, right? We'll see. 
Oh gosh, it's coming down so much right now. It is really raining. It woke me up a number of times last night. No thunder and lightning, just rain. And it's funny because we did not have hardly any rain at all this spring, which is unusual for Florida. But it is making up for it now. Oh, look. I don't want to do too much because I don't want it to... It's not dry. That's so pretty. That is going to turn out great. All right, let's put our colorful buttons on. You want to use a well-ventilated area if you're using your E6000 because whew, she's strong. All right, I'm going to just haphazardly put my buttons all over. It is a torrential downpour out there. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put one up at the top. I just like how they're all over like that. And it's oozing out through those holes. So, oh, and this one ought to be interesting because it's all nothing but holes. I'll put it right there. Orange, green, pink, blue. I need a yellow. There. I don't know if you can hear it, but wow. We definitely have our hurricane, the rain portion. Not sure about the wind. Okay. Oh, this is adorable. Look. Ah, that is so cute. Let's do the back. We'll see if I screw it up. I probably should have done the back first. So if anything gets screwed up, it will be the back. Oh, yeah, that one already fell off. All right, so let's glue. How do I want these? Maybe I don't want them the same as the front. I have um, I have the two different buttons. This is the one we glued, and it's actually holding just as well as these sewed ones. All right. The pillows I made in this whoa in the spring, I took um, just pillow forms, and I added um, little birds to them that I cut out out of spring fabric. And I used this glue, and they are still working. I mean, those birds aren't going anywhere. So it turned out really great. Okay. Let's... I already have orange on there, so let's... Oh, wrong glue. Almost did it. Let's do my E6000. Come on. Well, according to... My camera here, it says I still have internet, so I'm going fast. <laughs> we'll see. Now, I am just haphazardly putting these on here. Orange, green, yellow, blue, pink. Pink. I'll put it right there. Okay, put the lid on so she doesn't ooze out anymore. And that's that's all there is to that. We have to put our bow on yet. I love the color. Now I lost my ones in the front, but whoops, that glue is still there and still wet. And I might need to. Um, Oops, this goes over here. I might need to re-glue later. We'll see how it is when it dries. But the last thing I want to put on is my cute little bow. And I, I put this button, I remember this button. It came from a coat that I had when I was in the sixth grade. So this little bag has got some, some memories for me. So if you have old clothing and stuff like that. It is so cool to reuse the buttons. And I am I really like the idea that, that my mom did that. And I guess a lot of ladies did that. She darned socks and do all, did all that, but socks are a dollar, so I'm not gonna darn any socks. There's a lot of different stitches that go with darning. And I did enjoy learning the stitches. They were like woven through. 
and you made different designs. And that part's fun because to me that's more like a craft. But just sewing socks to sew socks because there's a hole in them, no. Uh, no. <laughs> you know what? And I had a thought about that. Oh, sewing. Sewing on buttons. My first uh, experience was sewing on buttons. Girl Scouts. When I went to Girl Scouts, we learned things like sewing and how to tie your husband's necktie because to be a good wife, you had to know how to do that. I know, silly stuff, but stuff that carried through with me, I remember how to do all that. And a lot of projects, if you can do it without sewing, people are so happy. Like sewing is some kind of evil but I think everybody should know how to do basic sewing, hand sewing. You don't have to know how to sew with a machine. Not everybody has a machine, nor do they want a machine. I have two machines. I love sewing, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it on a live because it's not simple, and I only want to do super simple projects. I want people to see that you can make beautiful things. You can make your home beautiful. You can make yourself beautiful. You can make um, gifts beautiful for people. And they don't have to cost a lot or take a lot of time. In fact, um, I'm already making gifts for people for Christmas. I like to give homemade gifts. And my friends have told me they like to get them. I don't know if they're just being nice or they actually really like homemade gifts, but um, it's fun for me, and I like I like to make something truly beautiful. Now, if it is, I don't know. I, I don't want to say anything that would offend anybody. If if it is a project that that's not all that fabulous, I, I don't want to make those. I only want to make the things that, that look expensive and that are absolutely beautiful. Now, I am just sewing this little bow on, and I'm almost blind as a bat. There we go. Hey, that's what I was doing. I'm just going to put my knot in here. Oh, go through. Try not to catch my the actual ribbons. All right, let's do that one more time so it stays. All right, and cut my ends. All right. Oh, yeah, some of them have fallen off the back. But I will put it all back together and let the glue dry. Ta-da! It's that darn heavy one. You know what? It, it will dry. The glue will dry. I have total confidence in it. But it, isn't that $1.69 and less than $10 worth of materials that I have plenty left to make 30 of these bags if I wanted to? And it's going to go with me to all of my festivals that I like to go to. Now, one thing... There we go, I'll stick that right on there. One thing I was gonna try, but then I second guessed myself, is this um, strap that goes around. I really wanted to do it all in wood beads, and I thought that would be really cute, but how uncomfortable would that be to have around your shoulder all the time? So I kind of shied away from it. But I think I might, if I do another one of these, take this off and put, um, something prettier, like strapping or um, ribbons or, or something that's a little nicer. But this is my project today. <laughs> Even though it's coming unglued. And thank you for sticking with me through the torrential downpours and the hurricane-like conditions. Um, hopefully, that's about all we're going to get. I am going to try to do another live sometime this week because for another $1.69, I found just the zipper pouches and I think I want to paint one and show you how to decorate it that way. I used to do that for um, boutiques 
I used to do the canvas pillows and the little zipper pouches. So I kind of want to show you how I did that and how easy it is and how you can make your own designs. And it will it'll turn out absolutely beautiful. So, Or it won't, and you use it for yourself. But thank you so much for joining me today, and I hope you guys decide to make one of these. Or if not, you know, if you do, please send me a picture on my Facebook page and show me what it looks like because I would be so excited to see this. I'm also going to upload this video to my blog. So go on over there and see all of the, um, the extra stuff that I do for my house that I've made myself. And I got a lot of comments on my shower curtain that's hanging on the wall. I might do a mini version for um, a live so you guys can see how I did it on a large scale. If you're interested in trying that, shoot me a comment and let me know. And if you would, I'd appreciate it if you sprinkle this video all over Facebook and show your friends. I hope you have a great day and stay dry. Talk to you later. Bye.